Greetings and salutations to all the citizens of the internet, to the redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the open XCOMers out there. This is Ivan Dogovich, rocking the oldies with the Let's Try tutorial of Open XCOM 1.0. This is episode 1, in which we will start a new game and set up our base. In episode 0, we download, installed, and configured our game. I do want to point out a couple configuration changes that I have made, that I have been playing with the video a little bit and I found um, just a bit better. I found that the display filter I like is uh, Quillez right here is pretty good. Well, maybe that's Quills, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But it, uh, I like the way it smooths out the edges of the fonts a bit and display set to Geoscape scale and Battlescape scale set to half display, I think I like that better. But anyway, you could fool with these like we did in the last episode and if you haven't watched that there will be a link here please feel free to go back and watch that and check that out we discuss all of the options here i will mention also i looked a little bit more at the mods and some of these will give you some specific things particularly and these are all these all came from earlier utilities or extending applications that were developed for XCOM. UFO Extender was one application that was built to modify and improve XCOM a bit and XCOM Util. Both of these kind of rift off each other and Open XCOM uses these heavily too in a lot of the things it does. But today we're going to be starting a game and setting up a base and XCOM Util has an improved starting base that you can get and a starting base defense improved. So there's two of these different things, actually three different settings that you could try out if you wanted to, but we won't be using these in our mods today. We'll be developing our bases from scratch. Okay, just wanted to mention that. All right, so let's go ahead and start a new game and we'll just kick it in at veteran just to see how that goes. Now, the one thing I will mention about Veteran is that in the initial game, in XCOM, you could set the difficulty for whatever you wanted, and you could set it all the way up to Superhuman, and it would really make no difference. The pro There was a bug in the game that wasn't fixed until Terror from the Deep, and that bug was the fact that whatever you set, as soon as it changed from geoscape to battlescape and back again it would reset to the easiest difficulty so that game ended up being quite an easy game overall so the difficulty level really made no difference now here we are and we've got an opportunity to place our first base and this is the first thing you do in a game I'm right clicking around the globe and it centers wherever I right click I can also I uh, use the mouse and grab the cent with the center wheel button and, or the center button that you have on your mouse and kind of scroll it around. But the new thing with Open XCOM that we have here is the radar coverage circles. The first smallest circle is a small radar, the second is a large radar, and the third is a hyperwave decoder. So with this range you can see what your base will cover. Now one of the most standard tactics when setting up your first base is to get a good coverage on Europe and Asia or maybe just Europe cover Europe um, and what you'll eventually want to do is have enough bases to cover most of the globe you can kind of do that with five or six bases but we're just gonna start here and I'm gonna go ahead and plot this down in Cyprus Cyprus is a nice country yeah we'll put it right there and we're gonna name the base Cyprus 1. Okay. You can name your base anything you like. And because we, in our initial settings, said to customize our base and not take the default base, we are going to have the opportunity to put down the different items in our base. So the first thing I like to do is put my access lift right here. And then we are given the general components that are initially put into a base. Now, you've got three hangars. You've got a living quarters, general stores, laboratory, workshop, and small radar system when you initially start. In the original configuration, you'd get a, a hangar here, a couple hangars here, 
and the rest of the stuff clustered around here. And what we're going to do is change that up a bit to go with a more defensible base structure. Now, I could have put the access lift anywhere on this row, and it doesn't really matter if you sort this horizontally or vertically, the, the tiles are still the same. There's six tiles by six tiles. Now, I like the hangers up here and the access lift. The, these components, the hangers and access lifts, are very important when it comes to defending your base. The reason is that during certain missions, the aliens will come after you and will invade your base. There's two places they can access your base from. Those are hangers and access lifts. So by placing all of these together and putting the access lift between them, I've, I've set up an ability to have a choke point from the rest of the base. Now I will put down my other things and it really doesn't matter what order you put them down here. If you're building a base, the general stores is really the next best facility to put in. The reason you put in general stores is because it's the fastest to build and then you can build off of it. So once you get to this level, you can build in either of these three tiles. But if I build up here, this will be then connected to the hangar or the access lift and it's another access point. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my general stores, my living quarters my laboratory I'll put over here my workshop I'll put right here and I'll put a small radar system in here now um, with my base I'm going to go back into it with my base I've now got it set up and I've got a radar online it's a small radar I've got a workshop I've got living quarters and I've got general stores and a laboratory this is enough to get started, but it's not enough to keep going. I've got four million in funds, and your funds will depend on your difficulty setting. So the lower difficulty, you'll have a little more money. Higher difficulty, you'll have less money. You'll want to do some things with your money initially. And one of those things is to purchase more people. Now, in my laboratory, if I right-click on it, it brings up current research over here we've got different menus over here and if I click on research it does this it brings it up as well with open XCOM the ability to right click right on your different facilities and see what's going on in there is uh, is new that's really cool so what I want to check really quick is my base information so in Cyprus one I've got eight soldiers we will need more of those guys I've got 10 engineers and 10 scientists and a total of 28 out of 50 living quarters. So I can tell right off the bat, I like to have at least 14 soldiers because that will fill up my transport aircraft and I can use those guys in tactical missions. So I'm going to hire six of those guys that will cut into my 34 and the rest I'm going to hire will be scientists. Now I'm going to need more. Ideally, I would like to have at least for my laboratories I've got space for 50 scientists so I would like to have at least 50 scientists and then as uh, time develops I would like a hundred scientists so I'm gonna need at least two more living quarters I've also got workshop and the engineers get to work in the workshops to make items I don't need those as critically I need to get science going so I need to purchase some I need to recruit some soldiers, so I've got eight, and this is new as well. This row shows you how many you have on hand in your base. So eight soldiers in the base, I want to get six more, and scientists, I'm just going to go until it tells me not enough living space. So this is 16 that I'm purchasing here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase those guys and hire those now because I know I need more living quarters, let's go ahead and buy one. Now this is different than setting up the first one because now we're actually paying for the quarters. Living quarters is not expensive, 400,000. It takes 16 days to build, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put a living quarters in. One of the things I will also need is more general stores. What I've got on hand now is not enough. And 
Thirdly, one of the important, important things that I will need is a large radar system. The large radar system will uh, give me a, a better capability to intercept at a wider area and it will give us the capability of um, spotting spotting the UFOs. One thing about radar systems is that they give you a percentage of a chance in the region that they cover. If a UFO is flying through there, every second it flies through there, there's a chance if you've got a small radar and it's within a small radar's range that it will get picked up. If I wanted to be more complete, I could put in two small radars and get twice the chance of picking it up. Same with the large radars. There's a third facility when you get the research breakthrough called the hyperwave decoder that will give you a 100% chance. So if you are interested in making sure you've got the good thing, do the hyperwave decoder. When it really comes down to gameplay though, I find that with the initial starting base, leaving the small radar up and getting a large radar, and once I get the breakthrough for hyperwave decoder, pull that in, and then use only those, never use radars after that. All right, that's a good start on configuring your base and a, a good explanation on how to set it up defensively. When you're building a new base, you start with just the access lift, purchase one of those, put in a general stores. You can put in a hangar to begin with, followed up when the general stores is done maybe a second general stores maybe a living quarters if you want to put troops there and at least a radar or hyperwave decoder and that will give you the ability to get more center coverage and more interceptors across the globe this will wrap it up for episode one of our base uh, setup a base configuration episode next episode we will be doing some work setting up for our tactical missions and I invite you to join me for that. If you haven't watched the first episode on setting up and installing and configuring OpenXCOM, I invite you to check out episode zero. If you like what you've seen here and would like to see more of my work, I do have a Let's Play of Terror from the Deep. I invite you to check that series out. It's a ton of fun. Sign up and join the force there. You have been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich today. We will see you again in the next episode of our Let's Try OpenXCOM 1.0 tutorial. Cheers! <laughs>